And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma's Peak. This is going to be an Ionia version of Targon's Peak that's going to be playing it slower, having lots of Nexus healing and some real heavy hitters at the top end. So let's take a look at what we got. Um, and we're gonna, so our, our main thing about our deck, of course, is going to be Targon's Peak. Um, where round start reduced the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. It's going to be really what we're built around. We're, we have multiple divergent paths also to try to find Targon's Peak. Um, that's what we're going to be mulligating for. Now, as far as reducing the card to zero, we're going to have a couple of awesome top end cards. Obviously, Aurelian Soul in our Targon's Peak deck. And of course, Karma being our champion, that's going to be another good one to have at zero. But then um, whenever you play a Targon's Peak, you're going to be behind because you're spending five mana and a turn to play your Targon's Peak while your opponent is like playing out their other units and things like things like that. So we're going to need to be able to catch up. And so we're going to have the Skies Ascend. If we make this cost zero, deal 15 to all enemies. But then the other really good thing about Ionia is Ionia gives us like another Skies Ascend kind of, of like a one one-sided like remove their board like skies ascend will just remove their board so will mina swiftfoot being able to recall three enemies um, this is going to be another card that'll be awesome to be able to help catch up so very excited about playing six cards like that um, and then you know try to stabilize and play a really soul also since we're going to be behind we're going to need to heal our nexus to help stabilize we're going to have ritual renewal can heal um, an ally or a nexus seven and draw a card another good hit with targon's peak if you just make this cause zero heal seven <laughs> that's so much you know a third of our life total and draw a card um, then obviously star shaping so with star shaping and ritual renewal and then some life steal units with tasty fey folk solari sunforger hopefully we can stay alive longer um, we're gonna have a couple of denies for protection you know, so like maybe we can uh, make karma cause zero, play zero mana karma, have deny for protection. That could be pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty cool little top end deck. Let's see how we do. Spacey Sketcher will help um, just be multiple blockers early. If we have if we have multiple Targon's Peaks or Divergent Paths and we don't need all of them, those are perfect cards to discard to Spacey Sketcher. Um, and then also Spacey Sketcher can can make the uh, Moon Silver. The zero mana card that makes something cost less and we can make the targon's peak cost four so we can just get that going earlier all right but let's give it a try karma's peak we're just gonna be playing on over in normal for our meme tier deck to start with um let's give this a try forgot to switch up our board and everything so we don't really have like you know we got the demacia board that doesn't really fit but oh well um let's keep I'm going to mulligan these two. I'm going to keep Aurelian Soul to go along with Targon's Peak. Um, maybe I should just be keeping the, the two mana 3-2. I guess I should be keeping the two mana 3-2, shouldn't I? How do we beat Fiora with... I mean, our... Yes, yeah, so let... We want our, our two, um, you know, big heavy hitters. Swiftfoot and... Um, the Sky's Descend. Those are the two cards that we want, like, all the time. Those... Those... Uh, get rid of Fiora... Plus, I was thinking that Fiora would struggle killing a 10-10. Would probably struggle killing a 10-10. So, if I play Tasty Fae Folk right now, we don't heal our Nexus at all. I'm going to wait till next turn and just play Tasty Fae Folk next turn. And yeah, that's that's the other thing is we just don't really we're not really playing very many units for Fiora to kill. These woods protect their own. The water changes but never breaks. The balance requires a watchful eye. It must be done. Who would trespass here? Try me. Nature blesses her followers. Alright, we're down to eight. Or I mean we took eight, sorry. Took eight that turn. Down to nine. Clad in shining sunlight. 
All right, so we're gonna just get some more blockers out here. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. And if their plan is concussive foam, we have deny for concussive foam. Man, I am just saying the wrong the wrong names. Not concussive bomb, sorry. <laughs> uh, concerted strike. All these cards sound the same. Their plan is concerted strike. We'd have that. You're in over your head. We're going to say no. I don't think Concussive Palm stops this, does it? No, I don't think it does. Because even though it would change, it would change the location of the Screeching Dragon, but I think the Sharp Sight or the Single Combo would still hit that. The King Koo go where they are needed. All right, so that's not too bad. Okay. All things considered. I have no Do you get to kill the River Shaper? River so we'll, if we make both these Aurelian Souls cost zero, will, will we be able to play Skies Ascend for zero? I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. That's good. Unfortunately, we don't have, like, leveled up karma we'll, where it would be two skies ascend. That would have been pretty cool. Yuck. Well. I really hope they don't have a deny. Oh my gosh, a Nobify? Well, that's not great. Health potion? Serpent. I mean, I guess we just, yeah, we can't, we can't stay alive here. Because it's either, either the Fiora kills us or this Green Glade Caretaker kills us. I can't only stop, I can only stop one of them. I can't stop both. GG's, Fiora Shen. Good game. Yeah, they had, they, had a great, they had a great hand. But we had the Demacia board, and that helped them out. Okay, but now we got an Ionia board for our, for our Ionia Targon's Peak deck. Um, this is looking like a good one. Uh, we'll keep this, because they are not going to have... Like, they could have Bastion, but they're not going to, thankfully, have Nopify or Deny to stop this guy's descend.
Hopefully a zero mana card. No, I need a zero mana card. I guess I'll just take the Trickster. Either zero mana card would have been great here. You know, the, the Challenger would have been amazing, or just making the Targon speed cost four. But the Challenger would have been the best. No, I don't, I don't, you don't need to put Lisa in in this deck, no. I, I'm happy just having Karmas and not, not Lee Sin. You have to, like, play a whole bunch more, like, uh, spells for, you have to play a whole bunch more spells, um, and I don't know if I really want to do that for Lee Sin. So, the good part about them getting gems is we can make the gems cost zero. Mm. I hate the spell shield. That's not a good play. Now they don't get to draw a card. That was a bad play by them, because now they, they're going to create that, and now they have 10 cards. See a Pale Cascade. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good play. They should block with Zoe, but yeah, I didn't think they would. Man, they just can't empty their hand. All right, let's hit a Skies Ascend or a Swift Foot. And hopefully they hit, like, a gem. Can you perfection? Ha. I guess we hit... So we hit Super Cool Star Chart for them. And we got Swift Foot. Which, if they have a full hand, you can't... You can't... You know, you can't have more than 10 cards in hand. So if they have too many cards in hand, then they'll just get obliterated. Oh, I... Okay, so it matters which order you choose them. I should have chose the Ballistic Bot first and then the other two. I chose the... I just kind of quickly... I forgot about that. I just quickly clicked. I should have clicked the bot first. They would have bounced the bot first. I guess they're going to level that thing up. Weapons golden as the dawn. Okay. I guess this makes the most sense. Get rid of the spell shield. Have them play something else. You know, maybe this mechan mechanized mimic that costs zero. Yeah, I know we don't get the unit, but we give them priority to, you know, maybe play something else. And hope for no Bastion. They can still play Mechanized Mimic. But that would be lethal on my end. 
They block seven. They take five, six, nine, twelve. They're at twelve. So they're going to have to have Guiding Touch. Oh, I don't have Guiding Touch. If you can see yourself. Okay, well, they're at one. I don't even know why I'm passing. I guess I should just play Mind Splitter. I was thinking they were going to play like something else, right? And then we'd Mind Splitter. I should just cast the Star Shape, the Star Shaping. So yeah, I can't. I can't pass. Okay, it worked out. And their, <clears throat> their tricksters are going to be stunned. And they're at one life. I mean, shouldn't I just play the Scourge anyway? I guess not. I mean, I guess probably the only way we lose is... Yeah, like they would have like the Skies Ascend. Like I play the Scourge, they play the Skies Ascend. But even, even if that happens, then I would still just play the Immortal Fire. Well, they tried. They tried pretty hard. They tried pretty hard. So that's what our deck's about. Targon's Peak... And then Swiftfoot, and Skies Descend, and pretty awesome stuff there. Ooh, Spooky Shadow Isles. This can be tough. They can be pretty aggressive and be able to, um, you know, have a card like a card like Skies Descend isn't necessarily a win. I like Swiftfoot. Yeah, we we just got right before this. We got paired against Twisted Fate Aphelios, and um, that's that's a matchup that I think that we will we'll do real good in. But um, after just like turn three, my opponent just conceded. Sometimes that happens in normals, so that was really too bad. I wanted to see that matchup. I honestly think I maybe just discard Karma to Spacey Sketcher, kind of looking at this. I think that, like, the Nexus healing could be really valuable, and I definitely want these Swiftfoots. It's like, Karma's going to be a lot better after level up, but we can, we'll find other Karma and stuff like that. Like, I think I, this is actually the card I'm going to discard. Oh, really? Now I don't, I don't need Moonsilver now. I should have played this last turn. I should have done this last turn. I could have could have had Targon's Peak this turn. Paint is just accidental art. Yeah, we don't really need the draw, but I want the healing because this is going to be like they're they're going to be doing crazy stuff. Karma isn't going to help us stabilize. Where um, Swiftfoot, Skies Ascend, these cards can help us stabilize, but then also like this this Nexus healing can help us stabilize. All right, so we obviously block there, and then. Walk here and take 12. Let's say this messenger can probably heal a little bit more than. This is nowhere. 
Well, would have only saved three life anyway. All right, so we do not want to hit Star Shaping or Ritual. We want any of these other cards. No, not Ritual. Well, I mean, Ritual's good, but... You know, we wanted Swift Foot or Skies Descend. Everyone's a god. I was going to say, is it worth casting um, the Concussive Palm, right? Like, so I can either Concussive Palm or Star Shaping, but yeah, we're going to Concussive Palm and I'll just stun the Thrash. Six, nine, twelve. So we're taking twelve this turn, going to seven. Come on, hit Swift Foot or Skies Descend. We got 50 50 chance, 50 50 shot. Swift Foot, Skies Descend. Okay, well, it's not the worst. They have the thing that gets rid of the ephemeral with that card. I have to do this attack because if they if they do if I don't do this attack and just sit back and they get rid of the ephemeral and get rid of my mind splitter, that is trouble. I don't technically hold another celestial, celestial card right now, but... Yay, Swift Foot! Seven. That's why we have all this Nexus healing. Just gotta survive. So, like, I would, would I would usually want to bounce like these things with Swift Foot, but um, I guess I'm just bouncing all those. They can just simply replay, but I'm still still casting my Swift Foot. <laughs> Resets their three three to be a one one again now. Oh, right. The Chronicler of Ruin just kills the Undying, though. Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe I should just bounce the Undying. The Chronicler of Ruin kills that. I love Living Legends with Targon's Peak, with being able to get extra mana. Seems re reasonable. So, like, Harrowing's kind of scary, but, you know, I, got, I do have Swift Foot for Harrowing. Rasa? I was not expecting Rasa. Well, Rasa's pretty awesome. Rasa's pretty awesome. I do love an audience. Oh, we hit Concussive Palm? That's the worst card to hit. So what am I gonna do? Put Rasa back in their hand? Yeah, yuck. Uh, I guess so. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. We got three warnings for you. You weren't always this way. Uh, 
Okay, we'll open attack. They can block like a really soul. Oh, good card. Good zero mana card. Okay, maybe we don't open attack. And then whatever, we'll just play another, you know, like they play whatever blocker, we play another Swift Butt. They kind of need to like Harrowing. Day for a just an Ephemeral, one of those. Because I could Cosmic Raise instead of wasting a Swift Foot. Oh, so their Rasa costs zero? Stop. Why did it? Oh, Rasa's over here. So Rasa costs zero. This other one should be another 2-4, right? Because that so if that 2-4 was ephemeral, that means they got that from Stalking Shadow. So this should be another 2-4. And so they, they they can't really, you know, they can play a Rasa. But this game should be over. They will shine. Just leave me alone. And there we go. Swift foot is sweet. Okay, our deck's pretty cool. We have so much Nexus healing. You know, we cast multiple Ritual Renewals and Star Shaping. Ooh, Puff Caps. We are trying to play a slow game, so Puff Caps aren't the best to see. Yeah, so we, we obliterated their two cards with our, um, our Cosmic Rays obliterated, and Rasa only affects if you had something die. Alright, looking for Targon's Peak. Nothing like the great outdoors. Swiftly. That's Targon's Peak. Not for everyone. Kinda. Young Avocado asks, how much does mulliganing three or mulliganing four, um, like, how much does, how, I guess the question is, how much does mulliganing three instead of four decrease our chances of finding divergent paths? And it is, yeah, so it is one extra card that we're not seeing. I'm not sure. This is just a terrible block. They just they just completely wasted an elixir of iron for nothing, because what they they get four damage on my shield bear. Well, my shield bear was going to turn into a three two anyway. So I mean, so they just use so they just save three life. But that's not that's not worth it. So while this Concussive Palm will be more useful later, it allows me to cast, you know, I get to cast it right now, and I want to get it out of my hand. Or at least I want to get cards out of my hand for Targon's Peak. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a 1 in 40 chance, right? Because you would still have, um, you have like your first three cards. So it's like your fourth card, so maybe a 1 out of, you know, and it's not just 1 out of 36, because then we have like the 5 Targon's Peak, so it's like a, a, you know, if you count Divergent Paths, so it's like a 5 out of 36 chance that gets upgraded. Something like that. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have played the Concussive Palm. Now I feel pretty bad about it with the leveled up Teemo. Never 
observe and learn. So if, if I take Supernova... Okay. I was going to say, we, we may not be able to cast it. I want I want it to obliterate Teemo. I was going to say, we may not be able to cast it, but if, if we do get... If it turns into the zero-cost card, then we just play the Star Shaping to get another Celestial card that way. Ugh, I can't play Trickster. Spilled paint is just accidental art. So they didn't play anything this round. That's good for me. We're going to have lots of puff caps. Supernovas. I guess they just don't have any more threats really to play. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, double Targon's Peak. Hopefully one of them hits a Rillian Soul. Yay, yay. I'll have to say that one pretty well. Um, I'll do Living Legends. We could double Living Legends with Karma. Yeah, is there is there a whole hand just like combat tricks? So Swiftfoot doesn't do... Uh, when this recalls three enemies, it doesn't bounce, like... You know, it doesn't bounce the Hexcore Foundry, does it? Kill my karma. Reconsider. Please reconsider. Ooh, I love lifesteal barrier. Thank you, karma. Lifesteal barrier, pretty cool. All right, that's not bad either. Whoa, six. Six on the one card? It's like two per card. They're willing just to pass? Just to end round? 
Really? So much for their pedestrian tricks. They have to just be holding like combat tricks, right? You know, like your flash freeze, harsh winds, troll chant, like all those kind of cards. More thermogenic beam. Um, hmm. Didn't really get anything that cool. I guess maybe I could have gone Cosmic Inspiration. Now they see who I truly am. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone Cosmic Inspiration. All right, that'll do. You've been wonderful, as have I. Yeah, I was gonna be able to replace the Karma. I know I could have barriered it, but we were gonna be able to replace it with other threats, and I wanted to be able to heal my Nexus with the barrier. Oh, scouts. All right, this is gonna be tough. Targon's Peak Decks always struggle on scouts. Basically, the, the real problem here is the extra attacks, right? Cause like, we can, you know, like take like one big attack, but then, you know, like, they're attacking twice a turn, and then they also have um, Relentless Pursuit. Like, Relentless Pursuit allowing them to attack multiple other times. This isn't exactly what we don't want to face, is a whole bunch of attacks. So we are going to try to uh, find Targon's Peak, and then um, Skies Descend, right? Like, this is, there's Targon's Peak. Sky's Ascent is going to be an important one. My faith protects me. All right, they didn't give me the opportunity. I taste purple. Yay. I think I just concuss upon that. Okay, so far so good. So we'll just definitely discard one of these Targon's Peaks. It's a tough turn. If I play... Because the problem with playing this right now is it, it, it's only lifesteal for one turn. And they challenge it with the tracker and I won't... Like, in front. And I'm already at 20, so I won't heal my Nexus at all. Okay, well, I'm, I'm trading my two drop for a repose. That's not bad. Not done yet. Still paint is just accidental art. Slow down, will you? Come on, you big grouch. Where's our big cards? There's a big card. There we go. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. So I think I play the tar the extra Targon's peak here. Every wave is a path. Wow. 
Shadow Fiend. Just make it more likely. I just really don't want it to see Relentless Pursuit. Make it more likely that we hit Skies Ascend. It's our time Please don't have Relentless Pursuit. Please don't have Relentless Pursuit. Just pass, pass. Yes! Okay, good. There we go. We hit Skies Ascend. And this kind of... Oh, Karma round end creates this spell, right? It's not you play Karma and you make the spell, so we don't get to just right away. Focus on me. Ooh, you're interesting. And I think I just do this right now. So Quinn doesn't level up, or at least try to keep Quinn from leveling up. They can, like, repost. Hmm, they did have a repost. That's too bad. Bad. Very glad not a rally. I want the stun card. The Crescent Strike. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, we had that twice. I really want the Crescent Strike. Recall an ally? Peace begins within. Come on, like, stars... St Ooh, Skies Descend? Cost 15? In a long path to get uh, man. Why couldn't I kept my 2-1 in play? Yeah, I guess we... I guess we just die. Yeah, I can... I can rebounce the Sunforger, but then... I mean, I just reset it to being a 5-4. It won't have... It's not gonna have Daybreak. It won't have Lifesteal. Um, but I guess I can just make it a 5-4. Oh, and this isn't even, yeah, this isn't even burst, so I can't even, I can't even play it and then block. They just had all three repose. Well, that'll do. That'll do. So close. If I don't, if I don't attack with the two one, if I just keep the two one alive and then just you know just yeah, if I just don't attack with that two one challenger, you know our skies of sand that we drew would have been thirteen mana. And I would have been able to play it, and I think we would have been just fine. But obviously, that's completely hindsight. 
All right, so this was a this was a fun deck to play. I liked this. I liked playing Ritual Renewal, Mina, Mina Swiftfoot in a Targon's Peak deck. I liked all the, the Nexus healing we had with this card. This is a card that we would have loved to have that last game. We needed we needed a Star Shaping or a Ritual Renewal. We didn't have those. Um, but they also had, they had to have Repost, right? Like if they don't have Repost, I think we win also. Like they had to have Repost. Um, but of course they could have like Rally and stuff like that earlier that would have killed us. But um, yeah, and then, you know, looking back on back at it, I shouldn't have challenged the Quinn when I did. But this was a fun deck to play. I like it. I would, uh, you know, recommend trying this one out if you're trying if you're trying to find a Karma deck. This one felt like a pretty good one. Now, could this could you play this deck without Karma? Absolutely. You don't really need Karma in this deck. You know, you can play whatever el whatever other like awesome Ionia or Targon champion you want. But um, a really in soul Mina Swiftfoot, Skies Ascend, Ritual Renewal. Like I, I liked these cards with the Targon's Peak, and and you know if you get to the point where Karma's enlightened and you're double casting Star Shaping or double casting Ritual Renewal, it's so brutal for your opponent. So I I like I like having Karma in here. I think it's you know it's cool playing a Karma deck again. Um, so there we go. That's Karma's Peak. Pretty nice one here. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck. And of course, we got Sharima coming up. Let me know what you think of any of the new cards. Um, you know, you want to talk about any of the new cards, you know, leave those comments over there on YouTube. All right, but that's all I got here for Karma's Peak. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.